a secret Chinese bank account. Co Listen, can you imagine if I had had a secret Chinese bank account when I was running for re-election? BBC Sounds. We're going to go to America Answer now. It's your favourite bit of the show because we answer your questions, or at least we try to. Sometimes we don't entirely. But this one's, uh, this week, it comes from Karen. And this is the question from Karen. Hello, Americast. Karen here. My question is, how do you think the Biden campaign will use the Obamas in the run-up to the election. How will the Biden campaign use the Obamas? Really interesting because actually we saw something that I don't think we could have imagined this time a week ago, Karen, and that was Obama himself becoming Biden's wingman. You know, he was the funny guy on stage. He was making the the jokes. He was, you know, cracking the jibes. He really, you know, pointed the finger at, at Trump when he spoke in Pennsylvania a couple of days ago. And it's kind of weird to think that, you know, the president himself, Obama as president, is now the kind of, you know, playing the best man to, to Biden. Um, but ha have a listen to what we heard on uh, Wednesday night. We know that he continues to do business with China because he's got a secret Chinese bank account. How is that possible? How is that possible? A secret Chinese bank account. Co Listen, can you imagine if I had had a secret Chinese bank account when I was running for re-election? You think, you, think you think Fox News might have been a little concerned about that? They would have called me Beijing Barry. <laughs> you could almost sense a little bit of resentment uh, in uh, Barack Obama's response there. Uh, but that speech in Philadelphia, what he was trying to do and what it looks like the Biden campaign is trying to get him to do uh, is reach out particularly to black voters, young black male voters who didn't vote in 2016. And they need in places like Pennsylvania uh, and Michigan and Wisconsin to turn out. I'm going to head down to Florida after we finish this and, and go see Barack Obama in Miami uh, tomorrow morning. And it's going to be the same thing. He's trying to drive turnout. Of course, Barack Obama did the same thing for Hillary Clinton in 2016. He was in Philadelphia a couple days before the election trying to drive turnout. He was there with Bruce Springsteen. They had a big concert. Uh, and of course, we know how that turned out. That's a really important point, Anthony, because remember, Barack Obama has done best in elections when his name has been on the ticket. And he didn't bring that many votes to Hillary Clinton uh, four years ago, and it didn't make the difference. Um, so it'll be interesting to see whether he does have an impact and does drive up uh, the turnout. That was clearly the aim. I think the other aim of that speech, which, again, is really interesting, is I think he was trying to trigger Donald Trump. I think he was trying to get into Donald Trump's head when he about and enrage ratings. him by saying that he was lazy. Yeah. yeah, and he was lazy and he just, you can't just tweet at the television and think that's policy. Going back to Kieran's question, though, there, there are two Obamas. I mean, there are more than two, but there are, you know, particularly two. <laughs> do you think Michelle's going to enter in the last week and will she have even more effect, do you think, for, for undecided Democrats? She's got a superstar status that somehow, somehow she somehow she manages to straddle politics and general entertainment that, yes, she's a political wife, but she's not a politician. And I think that she has something that even more to bring to it. And I think that she will also be trying to drive up turnout wherever she can in the places where they think that a low turnout, particularly among young, young black men, might make the difference between success and failure in key states.